What are you fishing? How are you doing today? Hey. This is a Tanya. This is the modified version of the olden days Hong Kong hook. Now I shall show you how to use Tanya to do bottom fishing. Okay, the bait that we're using today is uh, live prawns. So to hook up the prawns, right, I'll prefer to um, tear off the tail. So that uh, we can fit in the prawns right nicely into the big hook. So to hook in the big hook right, we just go around the curve of it and come out somewhere at the center of the prawn and push all the way in. Okay. For Tanya, there are there is this another small hook in front, the assist hook. So that one we hook to the head in case the fish take the head instead of the body. So the setup will be something like this. Okay, now we drop to the bottom. Same thing as the Apollo rig. Drop all the way to the sea bed and keep knocking and testing the sea um, and testing that your bed is at the bottom. The common sizes uh, in Singapore that we use is um, 80 grams to 120 grams. So the stronger the current the bigger tenure that you use so that uh, your bait right can be constantly at the sea bait. Yes. Okay, this is our first spot. <laughs> we have the first strike. Just maybe five minutes. Hey, careful, huh? the line don't touch this. Uh, okay. yeah, I know. Uh, otherwise, it might. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. Yay. Yay. Yes. Of course. <laughs> yeah. See. Okay. Let me take a photo for you, huh? We have three hardworking anglers here waiting for their bite. You got the first fish in the morning already, right? This angler, I want to interview you again. What are you using? Hey, Nan, Nan. Hey, Mr. Angler, what are you using? Tanya. On Tanya, the second to first. with Tanya is there are two hooks so even if you miss the big one over here the small one the small access hook will still go in yeah. caught a fish oh you caught lines whoa I think hey you can stand money small okay la. this is the third take on uh, Tanya Oh, Spanish flag. Oh. Hey, this is the Spanish flag snapper on Tenya. You see again, it is hooked onto the assist hook. Looks like assist hook very important. Huh? Hey, now it's afternoon time. We have eight takes all together, but five misses. So the thing with Tenya is. Uh, the hook is very big, so when the fish take right, you have to strike hard for the hook to go in. Otherwise, uh, you'll be same as today. Five miss, only three landed. I mean, hopefully, until evening time, we have more takes and this time more converted. We are not discouraged by the number of misses, so we continue to look for more fishing spots. This determined angler over here has a lot of actions today, but most of it 
a false alarm. Take a look at the female angler beside him. She actually had a fish at the end of a line while the guy angler was reeling up seaweed. She was reeling up a coral trout but while she was trying to lift up the fish it dropped. What a waste. Okay, from morning till now we have six loss. Seven. Seven, uh, seven loss. Okay, at last we fight back one. This is our fourth. Four fish. Okay, now it's yeah. seven four. Okay. Keep it up. This determined angler had another take on his rod again. But in the end, he still lost it. Okay, this fish number five on Anya. At last, he missed this one. After catching that last grouper, we headed back to our marina at Sentosa Cove. Today's fishing condition actually was excellent. The weather was good except for a light shower in the morning. Then uh, the wind was uh, very slow. So the drift was actually just nice. Everything was good except for we have too many misses. I think all together we have about 7 to 8 misses. So at the end of the day, right, we got maybe 3-4 groupers, a snapper and one coral trout, that's it. Easily we can double that amount if not for the misses. So that means that, that um, using Tenya, the correct way of striking the fish is critical. We cannot strike too fast, otherwise the fish will just miss the hook. Or if we strike too light, the big hook in the Tenya will not be able to set in. So using Tenya requires slightly more experience than uh, using Apollo rig. As for the effectiveness, it's proven with the amount of fish caught and the huge amount of misses that, that, that we got, it can attract the fish to bite. But then it is whether you can get it to hook it, that's another story. In our next episode, we'll use Rangong for bottom fishing. Stay tuned to our video channel and uh, Watch out for our next episode. I'm Captain Q from Wanderlust Adventures. See you on board.